Hey everyone, I'm Kevin. Welcome to this Mini Makers instructional video. Today, I'm going to help you build this kit. So today we're making the miniature walking robot kit. And so the first thing we got to do is take out all of our pieces. So this piece has one wooden plate with all of the necessary wooden pieces that we need. And what we want to do first is just to pop out all the pieces and lay them out here. And so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put, attach all the motors. So we're going to take two motor base plates, make sure they have the correct orientation and just pop them onto the motor. Then what you want to do is you want to find in your uh, set of gears this little white corkscrew and you're going to put that corkscrew onto the end of the motor and you're going to need to apply a little bit of pressure because um, the fit is quite tight but it should fit on quite nicely and so the next step is to thread the wires of the battery pack through the base plate of the robot so you're going to take your two wires uh, line them together and just put them through the plate now this is a little difficult, so I would recommend keeping the uh, ends of the wires, those uh, detached insulation points, on while doing this, because it's just uh, a little bit easier if the wires aren't frayed. So once all the wires have been passed through there, you're going to want to twist off the insulation. So what this does twisting it is that it twists the wires inside, so it's a nice straight wire, and you're going to want to wire it. So how you're going to do this is you're going to put the red wire through the left uh, port of the motor. So the left port, if the motor is facing in the way that the uh, video shows. And you, when you do that, you just wanna fold the wire over and twist it a little bit so that the wires are secure. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the uh, black wire, but this time on the right port. So once you put it through, fold it over and then twist it a little bit just to make sure it's secure. Perfect. Next, you're just going to attach the motor to the main body of the walking robot. So how you're going to do this is you're, gonna, you're just going to click the uh, two plate, the two attachment plates on the motor into the slots of the walking robot. And uh, there are two screws to secure this. So you just want to take one of your screws and just secure those on nicely. Now these screws are a little bit small, so I would recommend getting a screwdriver with a magnetic attachment on it. Therefore, that way, you can just pick up the screws really easily. So then you're gonna put the other side up, make sure to line up those ports, and just press on into the, uh, into the other side there. Oh, looks like it's, it's a little bit difficult, but you just gotta have patience, Don't, not to put too much pressure or else that will happen. Just make sure you're lining those up. And then you're just gonna, I'm just tightening these screws first, but you're gonna wanna take the screws and screw in the other side of the walking robot as well. And then once you've done that, this is what you should be left with. Just, oh, there's a screw stuck in there, so let's just get that out. And the next step would be to put the, the bar into the, uh, into this place, into the front leg of the robot. Just be sure this is the smaller bar that you're using, the smaller bar. So once the bar goes through, you wanna put the end attachment onto it. So it's a little bit hard to get th get get the bar through. So you want maybe want to apply some pressure with something, preferably not your fingers, because this really hurt. I'm gonna be honest. There I am looking for a little wooden piece that I can use to um, as a like little space plate on my on my hand, so that I'm not poking a hole in them. And there we are. Just any scrap wood. You could use this uh, scrap wood from the uh, pallet that your wooden pieces came on. There it goes, goes all the way through. And remember, this is a smaller metal rod of the two, okay? So you want the smaller rod to go through. So 
so that once you have this on through, you want to center that gear in on that rod. So there you go. And once it's centered, it should fit nicely into the grooves of that corkscrew on the motor. And you're gonna put two of these um, orange uh, rubber stoppers onto these. And this just starts, stops the bar from sliding around everywhere. And once you've done that, you can then take the top plate of the uh, robot where your battery pack is attached and you just want to line up those four holes on that top, on that top plate with the four uh, cutouts in the legs. And you just want to securely press them in. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And once you've done that, you're just going to screw in the uh, the, the supports to the board. Just like so. Perfect. And then you want to attach the battery pack to the base plate. So there are two holes on the base plate and there are holes along the end of the battery pack. And you just want to screw through the battery pack on the holes. So line those holes up and then just screw them in. And this part, I would definitely, def definitely recommend having a mag mag magnetic screwdriver. So, once you've done that, you've done that. You want to take your round circular wheel piece, and you want to take one of the uh, rods with the stopper on the end. And you want to push it in through one of the side holes. So, not the center hole, the side holes. So this is a little bit difficult, but you just want to apply even pressure to the top end of the screw and if you need to, you uh, wooden backboard like I am and just push it all the way through, just like that. And you want to do the same with the other one. In my opinion, this is this and putting on the gear piece is honestly the hardest part of this entire build. There you are, here I am just trying to put it all the way in. And don't be discouraged if you don't get it in the first try. You just gotta try again, and there we go, it's in now. <sighs> Magic of editing. So Next, you're going to want to take the rod that you put in earlier and you want to put them in the center of the two uh, wheels that you have. So that center hole, you just want to do this. And I find that uh, op using opposite pressure in this case works the best. So you want to press, put both wheels on and then press from opposite sides. So you want to make sure here, this is what I'm making sure, I'm making sure that the, the wheels are actually in uh, opposite alignment right now. So you would want the wheels to be in 180 degrees of rotation from the other wheel so you see you'll see later that when I put the wheel on the metal pole is right across from the other metal pole there you go so next step would be to put the larger of the two metal poles into the back. And you wanna secure these with um, some of these uh, orange plastic stoppers.
And once you've done that, you actually want to put a, another set of stoppers on those, on those poles. Then, after this, you're going to make the legs of your robot. So you want to take two of these uh, long uh, cylindrical, not cylindrical, they're kind of like oval, oblong shaped pieces, and you're going to put them together using the uh, metal poles with a stopper on them through the ends, the very end holes of these, uh, these, these uh, pieces here. And you want to secure them with an orange uh, stopper. And you want to make uh, four of these legs. So here I am just making the rest of these legs. So again, I'm putting the metal uh, rod through the very end hole. Then I'm taking a, a orange stopper and I'm putting it on the metal rod so that it keeps the whole thing from coming apart. And this is the last one. Perfect. Now you're gonna have to attach these there. So what you want to do is you want to attach, take one of them, orientate it as such, and you're gonna put the second hole from the opposite end through the uh, the the metal rod on the wheel. Then you're gonna put the very final hole on the other end through the metal rod on the opposite wheel. And then you're going to take the uh, another leg and you're going to do the exact opposite. So you're going to put the second last hole on the back back rod. So you secure that with a orange stopper and the very first hole to the front rod and secure that one with an orange stopper as well. And you're just going to, after you've done this, you're just going to repeat this on the other side. Oops. There we go. So you're just going to put the legs on the sew. Remember the second hole goes on the wheel and the last hole goes on the back rod. And the, for this one, the first hole goes on the wheel and the second hole goes on the back rod. And again, just secure those with your uh, orange stoppers. And for the last but arguably the most important step, time to put on the googly eyes. So I would recommend putting these on the battery pack, just because I think they look nice. But you can put them anywhere you want. There we go. There's your robot.